All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is get into some more advanced editing. And as you can see, I switched over from the storyboard view to the timeline view. If you need to do that, you can click it, um, click the little icon right over here and you can go back and forth between those two views. I've also added a couple more clips here from last time just so we can have some more video to work with. Uh, what I'm gonna do is show you what's called insert editing. And I'm gonna use this clip right over here um, and to expand it, all I'm going to do is wait, I'm going to put my uh, uh, cursor over the top of the orange in the timeline and you can see that there's a little clock there. If I click and drag, it's going to expand that clip. And what I want to do is just expand it so it fills the screen pretty much. And insert editing basically means we're going to take a section of video out of the center of this uh, little clip here. So um, as you can see, this is a, a fountain show that I recorded. Um, and these kids stand up and they walk and sit down somewhere else. So what I want to do is get rid of those kids walking around. And the way I'm going to do that is to cut it out and add another piece of video in its place. So I'm, I'm going to get to where I think it's pretty close, where he kind of stands up there right before that. And then I'm going to go over here to my razor tool and I'm going to click it. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to go down here and select this little lock right here. What this lock does is it actually um, locks the audio track so that I'm not going to be doing any cutting or any modifying to it. I'm going to keep the audio that's there and then replace the video inside of it. So I've got my cursor where I want it. I've locked my audio track and now I'm going to click the razor blade tool. And as you can see, it made a cut right where I'm right where I uh, click the, the razor tool. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go to the end and, and see where those kids actually come down and sit, which is right. There we go. They're just about out of the frame now. And I'm going to click the razor blade tool again. What that's going to do is isolate the section that I want to cut out. Next thing to do is just hit the delete key and that will delete that clip of video from the timeline. The audio is still intact. The audio still um, is underneath it, underneath the clip. And what we're going to do now is find another piece of video to go into that spot. So I can see that I've already used this clip right here because it has a little check mark next to it. And that's the clip that's currently in the timeline. This one right here is also some more of the fountain footage that I want to drop into that spot. So I'm going to take it and grab it. I'm going to bring it down here to the overlay track. And this will actually um, add the video there. Um, in this case, I don't want the audio. So I'm going to take the audio out. And the way to do that is to lock the video track this time, select the track, and then hit delete. And that will get rid of the audio track. Um, now I'm going to go back and do some editing to make sure that we have um, the right spot of this clip selected so that when the video goes from this shot, from the first shot down to the second shot, and then back to the first shot, we know that all of this video is what we want to have in there. So I'm going to double click it. It's going to bring up the uh, trim window that we should all know by now. And um, in this one, I know a lady stands up and walks around. And so I'm going to make sure she is out of there. And I like the ending. Oh, there she is right there. Okay, so we're going to turn that around. And we're going to get out of this clip before she stands up here. So I just want to go ahead and hit the out point there. And you can see that shortened up my clip a little bit. And then what I want to do is sort of uh, work the video clip to make it a little more uh, the same length as the other or as the as the whole so I'm going to actually line up the end of that clip right here and if you move this thing it sort of snaps into place here I can see or I know that this is where I want out of that clip and all I want to do is just sort of adjust this clip so that it matches the other and that's going to complete our edit now if we go back here we can see and I'm not going to play the whole thing for you. Actually, it's not that long, but I'm just going to hit play right here and you'll see that it actually cuts.
All right. So what I would really do, what I would add next probably is some transitions, but we will hit that uh, in a little bit. That is insert editing.